Well, hello again, and it is day 29 of the Restart program, and I want to welcome you, and uh, um, you know, if you've gone through every single day so far, I'm, I'm excited for you, and I'm really uh, grateful that you, you've stayed on this journey with us. So today, our affirmation is going to be, my clients are excited to work with me. Okay, just say that to yourself. Uh, say it out loud seven times during the day and uh, uh, say it with belief and conviction. My clients are excited to work with me. And this is, I want you, you know, it's an affirmation. It's something to make you feel your value. You have a lot of value. You are, um, you're going to be helping numerous people reach one of the greatest goals of their world. Um, so, um you know, we we uh, my my hope would be that you're you're coming into every single day that you meet with a client with positive expectations and and um, you know that uh, if your if your client maybe isn't the nicest person in the world, just understand there might be something going on in the background there, and maybe they got some stuff that's eating at them uh, that has nothing to do with you. So um, anyway, treat them treat them really well and just remember that even if they're not completely showing it believe me they are excited to be working with you excited could mean nervous too but um but ultimately the, out, the outcome is something they are really hoping to find the home of their dreams and uh, they are looking forward to working with you on that the vocabulary work at word of the day the terminology we will want you to look into a certificate of occupancy um, when you're dealing with new construction or if you're dealing with a home that is being substantially rebuilt, maybe after a fire or something like that, um, the county is not going to allow um, the, the builder or the contractor involved to sell the property, close on it, and allow other people to move in um, until it's met certain, you know, certain standards. And what and when it when it hits all of those standards, when it's met, you know, when they've when they've inspected it and approved everything, then they're going to give out what's called a certificate of occupancy. So I want you to look that up, certificate of occupancy. Uh, today's social media posting show show something you are working on in real estate or something you're working on in building your business. Um, you know, it could be that you just flash a quick shot of your database and say, this is, you know, I'm, I'm always looking to, uh, to add more, more people that, uh, you know, that I can potentially do real estate business with that kind of thing, something like that. That would be just one example. Um, it could be, uh, that, that, you know, you're, you, you don't want to pre, you don't want to pre-market a home that you were going to list. So don't, don't, uh, don't go there. Um, you know, if you're watching this in a state other than Washington, you might be able to do that, but not here. Um, so anyway, um, but, you know, to come up with something that you're working on um, to uh, demonstrate what you do and then ask other people, you know, what uh, what kind of projects are you working on at work? You know, if they're if it's top secret, they won't tell you. But if it's something fun, they will. Um and then uh, for your sphere building, uh, this is this is a bigger task, um, but create a newsletter letter, and you're gonna want to you're gonna want to send it at least once a month. I know some brokers who send it out weekly. Um, it's it's a big part of their 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 week is to build this newsletter letter. Um, you can contact various title companies or uh, the title reps, and they can send you. They 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 build a newsletter full of newsletters, <laughs> and uh, so um, you know you can find various pieces in there that you can use in your own newsletter. Maybe calendars of events in your community. It could be things that are going on. You know what's what's happening at a nearby uh, when you see that uh, land use action sign outside of a raw piece of land. What's that all about? Find you know that's the thing where you can post that. Um, but create a newsletter and then invite. Anybody who receives it, please share it. You know, send it on to your friends, um, and uh, and then uh, you know, hopefully those friends will then subscribe. Have a subscribe button on it. Also have an unsubscribe, but make the subscribe button much bigger. Uh, and uh, and so hopefully the friends of friends or friends of family, whatever it might be, family of friends, um, that they will they'll request a copy of the newsletter too. They're going to find it fun, engaging, whatever it might be. And uh, 
you automatically are building your sphere at that point. And then follow up with those people who do subscribe. Um, reach out to them personally and say, thank you for subscribing to my newsletter. Um, and uh, you know, maybe not right away, give them a month, give them a couple of episodes of issues um, and then thank them. And uh, maybe even say, hey, if you ever have any any uh, any questions about our real estate market, I'm, uh, I'd love to be a resource for you. Okay, that's it for today. Enjoy yourselves and have a great day. Bye now.